All right, everyone, I just want to give my two cents on the Champion brand generators. Um, this one is a dual fuel 9,000, starting 7,000 running for gas, and 81 and 63 for propane. Um, I've had this generator for, geez, seven years, I think. I bought it before it became like a box brand store. Like Home Depot carries these now in the stores and online. Um, when I bought it, it wasn't really a generator that wasn't out anywhere, um, like a known brand. So this was like 500 bucks. I think I paid for it. Um, never had any issues with it until now. The recoil stopped working and the starter went out. This generator has been absolutely amazing. It powers everything. It powers the, the mini split. powers everything in the house. It can power it all. The mini split, the heater, um, microwave, you name it. The only thing it can't do is the dryer because the dryer takes 50 amps and i imagine it wouldn't be able to do an electric stove top we have a gas stove um so we don't have to worry about that i am thinking about keeping this one for the shop and then upgrading the house one um just because now this is seven years old so i'm gonna replace the starter and such at some point once i get that ordered but i've never put gas in this this has been gas free its whole life um and it works great other than the battery uh, if you want the battery to stay charged you got to start this thing like once a month um i use this a bunch in the last year and a half definitely a great generator definitely a good brand um you know it's got knockoff honda parts on it just like a just like a uh, predator i was looking at the predators um and the decibel rating I, I don't know they're pretty pretty expensive this this thing's like 70 72 decibels at idle something like that and i think the predator was 62 at idle um it's not terrible uh and i was thinking about getting that big predator just for the more quiet you know ease of operation especially like in the winter time we use power lose power all night and it just echoes this thing just echoes it's obnoxious but all generators are loud other than hondas and whatnot but overall i would definitely buy another one of these um just because the dual fuel, especially if you run out of propane and you have gas, you can throw that in there and you just turn a knob <clears throat> right here and then you can do gas. Same thing um, to the propane if you're using gas because a lot of newer gas, I run ethanol free and everything. Um, but uh, but yeah, even to the point, this generator, I've never had any bad issues with it. It did come with a pretty good warranty. Um, and I may pick up another one of these and just bring this one out here for the shop and then put the new one at the house. Um, cause I've, I haven't had a single problem with it. It's been a really reliable generator. Uh, always starts right up. Um, and then, you know, it's been seven years, obviously the starter, starter locked up, probably got some moisture in there. I do keep it under the deck under cover and then the recoil broke at the same time. So that's just how it goes. Um, so I hope this helps you when you're looking for a generator. If you're trying to decide if Champion is a decent brand to buy or not. Um, cost wise, I think this now is like a thousand dollars to replace, but if you want something that's super quiet, you can get like a Honda, but those are like, you know, five, six grand. So they are nice, but the price is, is pretty steep. Thanks for watching everyone.